I think for me, working with wood feels a little bit magical. It's a living thing that just grows on its own without us doing anything. It has all these beautiful ecological functions that it's just doing. It's unique for a material as, as a maker to be able to use something so magical and then also have that magic stay in it. My reverence for the natural world, I can put that in my hands at the end of this project. But you can take that home and put it in your hands and other people can experience that magic of the natural world in their daily lives. That's amazing. My name is Tony Pirelli, and I'm a wood turner, carver, and I also make pottery. We're heading out East End Road, just outside of Homer, and we're hoping to find the perfect birch tree. If it looks just right, we'll cut it down, harvest the tree, take it home, and turn it into some wood bowls. Mm -hmm. Wood has been serving the needs of human beings for our daily use item for a really long time in, in bowls, plates, you know, weaving, heat. As long as we do it sustainably and appropriate, it feels really cool to be part of a tradition of humans making things from wood. I feel like it's pretty easy to drop into a place kind of mentally or emotionally where your senses are wide open. It's being outside in a beautiful spot with a purpose. Super settling, super nice. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okie dokie. I think maybe there's a bit of gratitude that for me starts in uh, the selection process, not not just going and grabbing any tree, but really being mindful about choosing a tree that will provide a lot of material for what we're doing. The starting point for me is selecting something that looks like it's gonna give back as much as possible. Oh, cool. I'll put both hands on the tree and have a moment of silence a little bit of asking permission and a little bit of thanking and gratitude and just having a moment um, of connection with that tree while it's still standing. Um. We did it. I recognize first that I'm not gonna make anything more beautiful or elegant than this tree was. But I feel like, you know, we're gonna be talking about bowls and plates and spoons and, and that sort of thing. Things that we've decided that we need every day anyway. And so to me, if it's an object that I need anyway, that experience can be enhanced by having that object be beautiful. You'll hear a phrase in the art and craft world that something's made with the head, hand, and heart. You know, the hand part's obvious, and uh, the head part's maybe obvious. You know, you have to do some, there's some intelligence that goes into all this. The heart part sounds, you know, a little left field for some people, but I do feel when I'm making stuff, when I'm making decisions, I am imagining what is, the next person who has this in their hand, how does it make them feel? Oh yeah, good. If I can put something into the world that makes people a little bit more aware of either beauty or nature or community, I feel like there's that aspect of community in that another human being made this. Even if I don't know this human being, and if I can make a piece that accentuates the 
the wood a little bit and the wood's beauty. Um, I love the idea of somebody having cereal out of this tomorrow and thinking about that birch tree. I want that wooden bowl that I give to the next person, I want that to somehow communicate a reverence for nature. You know, here we are in Alaska, and I know that there were Native Alaskan wood carvers in this area making things out of wood thousands of years ago. And so in some ways it's participating in some tiny way with uh, a tradition of this place. And gosh, that's pretty, that's pretty cool. The wooden bowls that we're talking about for me came to really stand as a symbol. Yeah. So it's a bowl. Of the choices we make, a symbol of uh, simplicity, a symbol of nature. And I think what they stand for is way more compelling than the objects themselves. The, the objects are cool, and I love making them, and I love giving them, and, and I love to hear about how much people enjoy them, but the story they tell and what they represent is um, most of why I dedicate so much of my life doing it.